Hey guys, Fred Bowler here and welcome to my channel, The Wildlife Ambassador. Today I think you're going to find this one interesting about wasps. Now, most of us are very familiar with the paper wasps um, that build their nests under our, the eaves of our houses in, uh, or in our gardens or wherever. But there is a myriad, a whole host of different species, um, not just the paper wasps, but there are mud wasps. As a lot of you know about the mud daubers. But there are also the mason wasps and the potter's wasps that are pretty interesting solitary wasps. As well as the wasps that build their um, nest in the ground, such as sand wasps, digger wasps, uh, cicada killers. And these are also solitary wasps, extremely beneficial. Um, wasps in general are extremely beneficial. They do tend to sting us and make us cry to our mommies. They are, for the most part, beneficial. They control the number of invertebrates or insects that we have. They help control it. As many of you know, especially here in Florida, that there are certain times of year invasions of tent caterpillars and tussock caterpillars. But in reality, do we know how many are actually being taken by wasps? Most people don't, but thousands of uh, caterpillars are eaten by wasps. So I'm going to show these videos in a multi-part series because it can be extensive. And uh, so I hope you sit back and enjoy. So we'll start out with the paper wasps. Uh, many people are familiar with these. I should say most people. Now, paper wasps are what's called social wasps. They have a group in one nest and um, they'll nest in under eaves, in uh, holes, in pipes, just about anywhere um, but the ground. They build their nest by chewing wood, dried wood, rotten wood, and then chewing it up or masticating it with water. They'll drink water um, sometimes before or sometimes after they gather the wood, and they'll, they'll spit into it and mush it up kind of like paper mache and then form the nest. And they can reuse this nest um, for more than one season. And that just saves time of having to build a whole new one. And some of these nests you'll, you may see get pretty large. Here's the process of scraping wood in progress. Um, the, this yellow jacket is scraping the surface and all the paper wasps do the same thing. And these light spots you can see on the wood is where they've already, other wasps or the yellow jacket has already scraped it off to uh, gather that bolus of wood. Now, yellow jackets are the exception to the rule with paper wasps. Where paper wasps make their nest above ground, yellow jackets do both. They'll nest both above ground and underground. And these underground nests for yellow jackets can get gigantic with thousands of individuals inhabiting that nest. And you might have heard of reports of people stepping on them or coming, uh, somehow disturbing the yellow jackets nest and they can be extremely defensive. And uh, many deaths have been caused by yellow jacket stings because they'll just sting in such large quantities the human body cannot process that venom and usually what happens is the proteins block the kidneys and the patient dies. And then we have everybody's favorite, the hornet. And the hornets are large paper wasps um, that build really intricate and cool uh, nests, I think so. And the first one is the European hornet found in the U.S. and Florida, including Florida. And then, respectively, after the picture of the European hornet is the European hornet's nest. Then we have the bald-faced hornet. And then after the photo, respectively, is the nest. And oftentimes, when you pass under these nests, like commonly, they're over water. And if you're in a boat or a canoe, um, it's not uncommon when you're passing under these for them to come out of their nest and stay on their nest and look at you and they're surmising what to do in that situation. And if, as long as you don't do anything, wave at them or throw something at them, you're fine. But if you're silly enough to throw something at them, they will attack. And it really, really hurts. 
After watching these videos uh, on WASP, I hope that you come away with an attitude that WASPs are more beneficial than they are detrimental. They really do good for us. And uh, like anything else, they have their zone of influence. And if you get stung, it hurts. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And please stay tuned for the next episode in this series. Take care, all.